You are listening to Gorgas, you idiot. I feel like dudes that like metal have just like a general build. You know what I mean? Like you guys all have this like stocky, like I want to fucking push people in an audience. Is that what I look like? Yeah, you have the metal build. I have the metal build? Yeah, dude, it's all the same. It's just like an oversized, it's it's the shorts that go down to their knees, oversized (laughs) t-shirt, long hair like yours, and they're all just... You're built like, built like dwarves in Lord of the Rings. You know Dude, what I mean? I I've been coming out of mosh retirement recently. Really? You're yeah. getting back into the mosh? Dude, I got back in the mosh pit recently, and it was awesome because like it was like a homie show. And what's interesting about the Texas shows? So most metal shows uh, back where I'm from in Oregon, the the people that run the liquor in Oregon are like really strict and Mm -hmm. so if you have alcohol being served at a show all the people that are or drinks all the people that are buying drinks and drinking drinks have to be completely separated from the all age the underage people so like you know like you might go to a show in texas and there's people holding drinks on the floor and it's like there's a bunch of people so it's like a different dynamic because people with drinks don't really want to mosh so if you're you're doing like a 21 or an all ages show here you might have people like just standing in the mosh pit area with drinks and like most of the people are over 21 so most people have drinks but back home it's like if you're that's that section is usually barricaded off way in the back so if you're at the bar you're in the back you got to finish yeah. your drink if you want to go up front which i kind of like because it's hard to get people to move uh yeah. you know it's like fucking move and they're like all right cool i'm going to finish this a full drink first yeah. you know what i mean but uh i was at a buddy's show uh shout out chernobyl the secret my homie's a uh, local band here they're fucking awesome. We've been on tour with them and shit. It's like melodic metalcore stuff. Yeah. But they were playing a show and like people weren't, they were killing it and people just weren't moving because they had drinks. So I started like lightly kind of like starting to push the pit a little bit because I wanted to get some movement going. And I basically like started it off and I was like, my work is done here. Yeah. And then, uh, and then, out. and then like every song they were like going back, they were like ready for the mosh pit now. Like they f- finished their drink or spilled it or set it down or something. And like they were in the pit and it was like, it was funny coming out of Mosh retirement for that because they, uh, like, people were coming up to me like, dude, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, dude. And I was like, I didn't even you fucking, started something, yeah, dude. I just was pushing you, pushing you guys around, dude. I like I like being in a, in a pit of, like, pushing. But the minute you get those fucking dweebs that are out there just... Like, the hardcore dancers. <laughs> just fucking throwing their fists. It's like yeah. just hoping to hit somebody. It's like, bro. Hardcore dancers back ruined the the fuck up, dude. Yeah. They just want to hurt people. Right. That's we just want, want a do. sweaty dude and a like a big plushy sweaty guy in a slipknot shirt like pushing us around, yeah. dude. That's I just want to get I just want to get thrown a little it bit. It could be friendly. I'm big, dude. I don't get thrown ever. Yeah. That's my dream, bro. I just want to get thrown into the pool again like like when I was a kid. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like when your dad would like lift you up and toss you. I just want to feel small again. Just once, dude. <laughs> How tall are you? I'm like 6'3". Okay, shit. So it's like I pick people. Dude, I can pick people up, but I haven't been picked up in forever. Yeah. That's why anytime I'm around like anybody that's taller. Please. Oh, dude. Please pick me uppies. up. Uppies all day, bro. Yeah, uppies. Uppies all day, bro. That's all I want, dude. Just lift me up. Just toss I'm also like pool, I'm like bro. two I'm like two thirty too so I'm like yeah. six three two thirty. You wear it well, dude. If I'm I'm like five ten or something, and yeah. if I have if I'm two thirty was like my fattest. And yeah, it, I didn't look like you. I looked like a big fat sausage eating. Dude, I I distribute evenly, but then I just when I gain weight, I just get swollen. So I was mm-hmm. like two fifty like two months ago. Two fifty really? Yeah, and uh, and I just swell up. I look like I got stung by a bunch of bees. <laughs> it's fucking gross, dude. <laughs> Just walk around disgusting. Just like after a week, every single me. picture of me is just like, <laughs> yeah, it's the fucking worst, dude. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that's why I had to do the keto thing. And oh yeah, tell me how that's going or how that went. Is it over? I I, I hit my six week goal. And okay, I hit that's my cool. weight loss goal. So I I I say I'm two thirty. I'm like two twenty seven. I got down like twenty five pounds, but yeah, I've dude. been eating like absolute shit this last week. Oh, I'm, ta- so I'm just taking a break. You relapsed. Yeah, dude. You fully relapsed. Yeah, what was, was your first relapse meal? Uh, just a breakfast burrito with potatoes Ooh. and a tortilla. Ooh. It was just like the most fire shit I've ever had. Did you had. like throw up and have diarrhea afterwards? No, Coming dude. off the keto? The That's the one thing is on keto, the poops, they're, they're terrible. Okay. They're like non-existent for the most part. You'll go like four days. You're little, like, dude, what little the fuck black is going pellets on here? coming out of your yeah. ass. <laughs> and then you get off keto and you're like, all right, they're going to go back to normal. And then it's just, it's... But I didn't go off keto to, like, a healthy diet. I yeah. went off keto to, like, immediately, like, 
just eating everything that I wanted to eat. You're supposed to go off to like chicken and rice or something. Yeah, you're supposed to like taper off. That's what I'm going to, that's why I'm going, I'm just taking like this little break. I'm going back on it on like Friday for another month. Nice. But I couldn't do it anymore, dude, because it fucking sucks. It sucks so hard to like sit at a meal and just like. (laughs) It's it's like rum springer for your gut, dude. Yeah, dude. You're you're just doing a rum springer really quick. Yeah. Just let's just party. Let's eat whatever we want. Let's get wild. Exactly. I'm just having, we're having fun. Did you stop drinking at all? Or no, did not you at all, drink dude. I couldn't get that up. I, I just drank tequila, which pissed me off because I don't like tequila. Is that like the low calorie alcohol? Tequila and vodka, yeah, are really? like the only ones. Like you're not really supposed to have any. Okay. But uh, brother, I ain't giving that up. But daddy's having a beverage. Yeah, I'm having bevies, dude. <laughs> daddy's having bevies. I'm not getting wasted, but I'm having. I was getting wasted, yeah. but I'm having bevies. There's yeah. no stopping me on the bevies, bro. No. But I missed beer and whiskey like no business, bro. That was the What's number one go-to? thing. What's your go-to? Dude, all I want is just a fucking Lone Star and a JMO. A Lone Star, a Lone Star and a, JMO, a shot dude. of JMO, bro. A little boiler maker. Dude, it makes me Ooh, happy. A shot like, that's beer. just a good night, yeah. I love when you walk in like and go, what's your, what's your shot and a beer deal? And they're like, this guy knows. Dude. Like, Lone Star and a, and a Jim Beam for six bucks. And you're yeah. like, let's fucking go, dude. Frazier's, dude. Frazier's got oh. the best one. That Coors Light. Whiskey dude. combo. It's like, what is it? Like, it's six bucks. That icy cold mug of beer. Dude. Oh, I know, bro. And, oh, and then you can just get those Frazier's little right cheese burgers. Dude, dude holy shit. I need to go to Fraser's before the chopped cheese. Before I go back on, dude. You know what? Everybody talks hype about the chopped cheese. Fucking I don't dang. think it's that good, bro. I think it's wow. mid as fuck. Hot takes. From, I think from it's John. mid, bro. Oh, chopped cheese is just man. ground beef and cheese mixed together. It's like, it's fine. It's about the delivery method, though. It's just and not that exciting. And also the shreddy lettuce, the shreddy lettuce with with the shitty tomato. I mean, I don't think it's supposed to be exciting. That's the thing. No, nah, dude, I need my food to excite me. You need your food to excite you. Yeah, I need it to. Everything wake me has up. to be an experience. Exactly. Dude. Every everything has to. Be it does. It doesn't even have to be a good experience. Yeah. Whataburger never a good experience. <laughs> <laughs> Every it's, time it's a baseline. I eat, it's a baseline experience. Like dude, it's always the same. I I'm gonna like it while I eat it, and I'm gonna hate myself for 72 hours. Oh afterwards. yeah, that's that's what Whataburger is. But I know that going in, I know what I'm signing up for. Yeah. But dude, that, w- one time before before I moved here, uh, we were visiting here, shooting some music videos for bands. Me, and one of my best friends, and I was like looking at apartments and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I I had set it up so that I was gonna go home at 5 a.m. and his flight was like way later in the day. And so the night before we left, we stayed up like all night. Oh, fucking like we went out to Sixth Street, got hammered, and then we got like way too much Whataburger. I think we each cleared like two patty melts that night, dude. That's, that's just nuts, insane. dude. Insane. It's yeah, such a fat, it was such a fat moment of, of you know, that's regret the, and just. That's but, the heaviest part of the Whataburger is just oh, yeah. it's the regret, dude. Because yeah. you're not just ordering a cheeseburger; you're ordering gr- regret. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How much regret would you like, sir? Yeah. It's and fucking eleven dollars of regret. So I wake up at, at four a.m. to get an Uber to go to the airport, and I'm feeling like complete dog shit. I'm hungover, and my gut is just like dude, it, inflamed. It, it moves it, in a way, dude. It, it, it becomes a you. living being. It speaks to you. <laughs> Why did you do it? <laughs> yeah, Why? Dude, what have you done? It's literally a living being, dude. It, dude, it yeah. starts crawling around on you. You're like, oh, it's like the God. creature from Alien that yeah. fucking comes out of people's stomachs. It's the chest burster, but it, instead it just comes out your ass. Yeah, and so I get to the airport, dude. I like I'm like fucking I'm half I'm I'm like barely making it through and barely surviving this this trip through TSA and I get through TSA and I'm pulling out my wallet and everything and I realize that I have two wallets I had grabbed my buddy's wallet oh no yeah and so he was gonna be fucked on this flight and uh and like trying to I was like what do I do like I gotta catch my flight like my friend's flights later and they're like well you can have him like come to the airport three hours early and go through this whole background check thing and whatever and so I call him and I'm just fucking feeling like shit dude like I have to shit I have to throw up my head hurts because I'm hungover I'm like dude I'm sorry but like I grabbed your fucking ID I had to wake him up like 5 a.m yeah and he was like dude like that fucking sucks like I'm pissed but whatever I'll figure it out whatever and I was like all right and so I'm like I'm gonna go I'm gonna try to go to the bathroom or whatever and and I I was walking to my uh my gate and I just had the the crucial pukes dude and I busted into a bathroom projectile threw up in in the toilet (laughs) and then as I'm thrown up in the toilet the first wave of the projectile throw up uh my sunglasses fell off into the puke Ah. and I looked down at those and I was like 
contemplating whether or not like are we going to pick these up are we going to walk are we going to let these go are we going to wash these off what are we doing and then that thought process made me throw up again so i just threw up on top of the sunglasses and then uh and then i was like we're leaving those yeah and i'm not even going to try to i'm not even going to try to flush this like i'm sorry for the 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 lady that has to clean this this sucks yeah and uh i get to my gate and i had the post puke clarity and i was like no dude we have to be a bro right now we have to go back you yeah. have to go back. I was like sitting at my gate waiting to board, and I was like, "We have to be the bro right now and just take the L." And so I looked online and like bought another plane ticket, and I was like, "I'm just gonna go back." And I went back and gave him his wallet, and he was like, "Dude, you're the best." That is yeah. a huge homie. Movie. But that post puke clarity was huge. Yeah, it, if I that. didn't get those demons out of me, I was just so focused on like sur- I was in survival mode. Yeah, at that you just point. wanted to make it through, dude. Yeah, I was just at sur- in survival mode, and then after I got that Whataburger demons out of me. <laughs> Dude, I was they like, truly I was like, are, I can bro. They're demons, dude. Dude, the farts are ridiculous. I mean, bad. Yeah. Like, when I woke up after having Whataburger after seven weeks, I like went into the bathroom, and I've been seeing a lady, right? So she was in oh, my room, no. and there's a wall. My my room <laughs> shares a wall with the bathroom. <laughs> so I went in the bathroom and let. A, I mean, it was like the longest, most foghorn ass fart <laughs> you could imagine. It was awful, dude. You're like, we're gonna let this out. Quiet. It was the kind of thing where I was quiet. like, oh, I hope she didn't hear that, but because it, it it was not quiet. It was so it was long. <laughs> it was like there was like six seconds to it. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, a whole six second fart. Dude. Yeah, dude. It was uh, and then, so then I would like you know I was like, all right, you know, and that was all it was, just a big fart. Went back to my room and she just like rolled over and she's like, what? was that <laughs> and i was like that's what a burger yeah you're like you know what if you, we're gonna be together yeah <laughs> you need you need to accept me you need to at accept my lowest what dude. it is and then i got way too comfortable with it once she heard that one i was just like i ain't holding them back you're like so we can let this rip now right like, yeah yeah and you've seen was, this side of me like yeah we're like, closer now this, this is this, this is me and that's I'm how what a burger brought us closer together yeah <laughs> yep that's how what a burger helped me with a lady <laughs> but Tearing down walls. Te- well, that's what Whataburger does. It tears <laughs> down borders, walls. Dude, Lemare is never gonna eat Whataburger ever again. It's sad. It's it, his they, loss, they, bro. Well, they let him down though. Remember, we got to, we convinced him. He I had know. already written it off, and we were like, "Dude, no, you dude, gotta I'll... try the patty melt. You gotta try the PM." And he was like, "All right, I'll give it one more shot because I hear about this patty melt." And he got the patty melt, and they gave it to him on regular buns. They I'm... fucked him. They fucked him. I'm gonna get him to try it. Right. It's I I you say like I I feel like Lemaire could be convinced. Wrap it up in a Culver's p- paper, <laughs> dude. Culver's. I've never had Culver's. Max. Bro. I've never had Culver's. Is it's this the just most a fast food pod, or are we just gonna talk about fast food? Let's do it. We're gonna, we're hitting. Uh, we're definitely hitting all yeah. of them right now. But Culver's is the most Midwest fast food burger because they call their burger the butter burger. That's what it is. It's just they're like, hey, we made burgers fatter. Yeah. Which is the Midwest. We were trying to figure out how to eat more butter. Yeah, we wanted more <laughs> butter. And you can get cheese curds as a side. Oh, fuck. Just fried cheese. Fried, fried with cheese with your, bur- with your butter burger is crazy. Dude, it's <laughs> fucking unreal. You smoke weed, right? Yeah, but I'll get quiet. You'll I'll, get quiet. I'll, I'll, right. I'll smoke. I'll take a hit closer to the end. Closer of the pod, to the end. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll yeah, get dude, ready. every day I, I, I smoke like all the time and I, I never have fun. Yeah. I just get scared. As hell. Let's let's go back to keto. What were you eating when you were doing keto? Dude, so much steak. Just steak. I got banging at making steaks, bro. Yeah, what, that was you, good. How are you making them? It's just pan. And you just, just in the pan, pan sear, bro. Yeah, yeah, dude. They're easy. Honestly, they're fucking simple. Just fucking. Did you get tired of it? No, not at all. They're just so good. Bro. Yeah, you can get them. You can get like decent New York strips for like eight bucks from New York yeah, eight, from, from H-E-B. H-E-B. Yeah. <laughs> from New York. From New York. I, 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 I ordered them from, New, from York. New York. They're literally New York strips <laughs> from the city, from old Manhattan. They're shaped like Manhattan. Yeah, when you become a successful comic, uh, you can yeah. just kind of order things from where they're from. You yeah. know what I mean? When you hit the point where you're a door guy and <laughs> you know you make the coveted hourly wage. Yeah. You, <laughs> you can aff- you can afford some luxuries. Yeah. No, dude, I needed those eight dollar steaks. That was yeah. what got me through. It was I was like eating literally like it was just it was it was the best diet ever. Yeah. I ate steak, cheese, and chicken wings for like, six weeks. That's pretty lit. Honestly. Yeah, and eggs, just a bunch of eggs. What more do you need, really? Dude, a diet where you can eat cheese is crazy. Yeah. 
And it worked. I lost like 25 pounds. But you're off the rails right now, fully off the rails. Fully off the rails, dude. Well, yeah, because this lady I'm seeing leaves the country in like a couple days. So I was like, let's just enjoy herself. Let's just fart so much around her while she's still here, dude. Leave her something to remember me by. You know what I mean? (laughs) She's like, God, you know, that John guy, he was pretty basic. I liked him, but man, his farts were awesome. Yeah, they were loud. (laughs) They were legend. I've never heard a man fart like that. They were loud. It is crazy, bro. Whenever you, you know what I mean. Whenever you have one that's so loud, you're like, "What? Oh, <laughs> How dude, did I yeah. do that?" Yeah, we've been sending each other our our, our farts. And him and I, we're very yeah, we're very close friends. We've been friends since seventh grade. Oh, nice. Yeah. So we've been uh, sending a fart audio. It's great. And it's just like a picture of my face. I'm like, "Hey," and then I just bring the phone down and just <laughs> let it rip right for him, dude. <laughs> Yeah, and it's funny too. He used to have worse farts when, uh, when you know, when he was back in home. I don't know what the, what's something in the water there, but ever since now, his his game's been weak. Yeah, dude. And so I'm hoping that he. Well, can... he said he loves it here. That's the thing. Yeah. That he he had hate farts in Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Sacrifices have to be made. That's true. He had hate farts. He had hate farts. <laughs> his his farts harbored anger. Yeah. And now he's comfortable. So yeah. Just and that's little. and you're ready to go, right? That's why you're you were saying you're ready, what, yeah. you're ready to leave. Ready so you're leave. you're back on the hate fart game. I've been on the hate fart game. Yeah. All I've ever known is hate farts, dude. <laughs> you spend 26 summers in 105 degrees. You're like, fuck, yeah. <laughs> this sucks. So you've been here forever, then? Yeah, I grew up in Central Texas. I grew up 30 minutes north of Austin. Went to college 30 minutes south, and now I live in Austin. Nice. So I literally 30 minute radius. Are you must be the only one there? At the mothership that is I like a, so, is yeah. a is a native Texan. I think so. Right? Well, no, no, or a native Texan. native Austinite. Austinite yeah. yeah, there's a couple of Texans. But did you do comedy before all the shit started happening here? I imagine you did. right? Yeah, I did it for like a year. Okay, uh, a year and a half before COVID, and yeah. then I didn't do it like at all during COVID. The whole mm-hmm. like literally from like March 2020 until probably June or July of 2021, I didn't yeah. do comedy. I just started here. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, like uh, almost two years ago. I guess in December it'll be two years, like a year and a half. Yeah, and it's it's I it's interesting to from hearing from other people like starting here is kind of a weird thing to do, like but I don't know that's no what they that's, say. A, that's they're like oh it's kind of weird and I'm like well yeah I don't know you know no it's a, a good a lot of people moved shit. here yeah but well now it's like a really big scene so it's like starting yeah. here now would be hard just because it's like the the there's no like bridge between the open mic scene and like the show scene. Yeah, you have to make, Whereas, you have to like, make it yourself. Those yeah, relationships. you have to like form relationships. You have to like find, you know, like back when uh, right after COVID, because there was like the old scene that I was in before COVID. They like didn't really like fuck with the new people at first. Mm. You know, like I think they were like just liked what they had had here. They were they were scared of the comp, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. They they just wanted things to stay the same. Which, scared you know, of the who competition. Can, who can blame them, dude? Who can blame them? <laughs> Change is scary. Yeah, but uh, I was just like, "Fuck yeah, this is cool. It's just bigger, more people." Yeah, uh, I've had a great time. Yeah, but yeah. back then, like three years ago, like when I showed up, it was like everybody that ran shows was also doing all the mics. Uh, so it was like there was like it was just one scene. Yeah, that was like all together, and now that's like this is completely different thing where it's like the like there's so many mics, dude, and like nobody that runs shows goes to the mics anymore. So it's like, how are people that are doing the mics supposed to get seen other than like you know? They gotta get lucky. Yeah, when I first or showed make up, good dude, relationships with people. Yeah. yeah. When I first showed up, dude, if you got, if you just had a good kill Tony, you would instantly be on every show in town. It's crazy. It was crazy how much attention people. Paid Have you to been it. on there? Have you signed up for once? It? Okay. You, I, do you sign up anymore? Or not? No. Yeah. No, I don't know. I get. Uh, it makes me too nervous. I don't like it. Yeah. The interview and everything, I get. <clears throat> I don't like being out of control on stage. That's kind of why, like, I chose stand up because when I on, with stand up, I'm in control the whole time. Right. You know, but whenever if you're uh, good at it, I guess. Yeah. Unless you, unless you let the crowd, a crowd person, fucking oh, destroy. Dude, it's happened, That's where dude. I'm at right now. Like, I'm like, please don't talk to me, please. Dude, I got. I'm still trying to get through my fucking shit that I wrote down. I've gotten destroyed, dude. This one time in the little boy. Oh my god, bro, this guy pissed me off so bad because I literally. I can't even remember what the joke was, but I I said something. Uh, I I said something, and this guy just like destroyed me with his question. <laughs> it was something about like me being a high school theater kid or something like that. You see, when you said something to him, you thought it was. Oh, <clears throat> did you think I remember it was? It. No, it just it, what he said was so stupid to me that it threw me off, and I was like, I was just like having an off day, you know. So I was like, yeah, I don't know if I you I I think the joke starts with me being like, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a high school theater kid. 
And this guy just goes, are you still a high school theater kid? <laughs> and and I like, was like, I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like so thrown off. Dude, this guy, and I'm, this is a cold open. This is like the first set of, <laughs> this is like the first set of, the, you know, of the whole show. It's me. This is minute one. Yeah, this is your first joke. Yeah, this is my first, this is my opening joke. Of the, and and this the opening guy joke of, of the night. completely throws me off. I have nothing to say back to him. <laughs> I get, just, I just get destroyed. <laughs> what, what happened? The crowd just, I just bombed. I just ate or my own fucking dick for 10 seats. years, <laughs> for 10 minutes. Dude, and then literally, no joke, a week later, I, I get up there and, you know, all my friends after the show are just ripping like on ripping on me, making fun of me, just like, ah, John lost to an audience member, ha, ha. which is the most embarrassing dude, thing he, he destroyed to me. have happen as a comic. <laughs> and then, dude, literally a week later, same exact time slot, cold open, I go up, I say that joke, and a lady, and I thought about this, I thought about the fact, what this just, guy had said, and you've everything been, you I could have said. You were for like the, a dude, week, was it a month, you said? A, a, week. a week. Some lady says the exact <gasps> same thing. She goes, oh, are you still a high school theater kid? And I was like, I just immediately was like, I just fucking turned the guns on her. What did you say I, to her, do just, you remember? I think I just called her a pedophile. I think it was the best <laughs> I could come up with in a week. In a week of thinking about it, I was like, oh, what do you wish I was, you fucking pedophile, <laughs> stupid bitch? I just yeah, let out all my yeah, anger yeah. on her. And, and it worked like, really well, but she was like, yeah, from? she could tell that it was, I wanted to just be like, this isn't because of you. Yeah. This isn't your fault. Yeah. If you could have found a quick way to explain that whole story, it would have been hilarious. Oh, I know. But I do remember twice. getting off and everybody was like, nice. everyone was like, was that the exact same question? I was like, yes. And I redeemed myself. Yeah, exactly. So shut up. <laughs> I won this time. Yeah. But dude, that God getting destroyed when you're on stage is like the worst feeling in the oh, world because yeah. you're just like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Or whenever like you set up a joke, and they like yell out something that like just fucks your whole shit up. Like I I've been like making fun of my haircut on stage mm -hmm. like when I open because it's just like shorter you know Let's than I would it. normally go. Let's see it. I mean, are you feeling self conscious about it? No, give I, us a little. Give us one of these. That's I, your camera. I really like it. I think personally. it looks good. I think it looks good, but. It just works. If I go on stage and I'm just like, oh, I just got this new haircut. I'm not stoked about it, you know, because mm -hmm. like I used to have cool long hair. Now I look like the fucking boss baby up here. That sucks, <laughs> you know. Like that's just like that's just been a solid open. But I, when I first did it, I used to, I, I I was I've started saying it that way because I would be like, oh, I just got this haircut, which I'm not stoked about. I'll say it like that because on a show, going up and cold opening. It's just a five minute cold open for like one of the bottom of the barrels, and I said, uh, I think I said something where I was like. I started to say that I was like, yeah, I just got this haircut. I was like, I was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm doing okay, you know, I, I'm, I'm not so great. I just got this haircut, mm -hmm. and then some lady in the audience just yells, "It looks great," <laughs> and I was like, well, I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> it was just like, there's it no comeback. Threw, threw you know you what I mean? Yeah, it was like, fuck. Now everybody's like, yeah, it does, and I'm like, well, I'm you, about to make fun of it. You keep getting wrecked by like schoolyard dude. audience, audience roasts, like dude. playground. Like you are no, no. you're no. <laughs> or, <yeah>. Shut up, <laughs> shut up, dude. You're your mom. You know, it's like, <laughs> dude, I've been just getting destroyed. I think you by gotta go. Audience. You gotta go to Banana Phone, dude. I absolutely think, not. No, be on the panel. You gotta dude, like I'll, be on the panel with Ridley while, do and do uh and just do like uh, try to work on the roast muscle, dude. Dude, I'll go and like do banana foam. Like sign up for it? No. No. But I'll go sit on the panel sometimes if I've just been like drinking after work on a yeah, Sunday. It's so fun. Yeah, dude, because it, it is fun. But then like every once in a while, like I only do it like once every couple months because mm -hmm. like I'll get there and I'll be all like happy and confident and I'll like throw a couple out that like hit yeah and then I'll, I'll get really confident and I'll like grab the mic and I'll be like da, 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 da. silence yeah. and I'm like I don't ever want to come back here <laughs> god I look like such a fucking idiot right now this sucks <laughs> that happens too often dude I just yeah. eating a, bombing at banana phone is the worst cause like fuck dude right the whole crowd is like <laughs> especially with the microphone you know what I mean at least like if you're in the audience and you're just like shouting yeah you can shout and then people can be like what and you can just be like Right outside. Yeah. Nobody needs to know that was me. Yeah. I'm free. But when you're on the mic, you're literally yeah. just, there's a spotlight on you. You're performing. Like, I'm it's a like... fucking idiot. <laughs> and Rid I suck at this. Ridley was like, dude, you want to do the, pa we need to, like, somebody's gone. Candace was gone or something. They're like, we need an extra person. Do you want to do the panel with me? And I was like, yeah, that'd be cool. Like, that's because I'm always yeah. pretty much there sitting behind him and hanging out. And <clears throat> I'll throw some zingers out from the crowd every once in a while. But, uh, 
I was like, yeah, sure. And he's like, all right, I'll be at your house soon. So he meets up and he's like, so also we should take these mushroom pills. And I was like, oh God. And so I took- What's up with that? Why, why does everybody think doing mushrooms in public is fun? I thought mushrooms was something we do- I kind of agree. In a small group and yeah. then walk through the woods. Definitely never going to do that again, for sure. Yeah, yeah I'm definitely never going to, like, I'll do mushrooms in public and, like, I'll do mushrooms and go walk around at Barton Springs or something, like, where there's people around, but they're not in my, they're not yeah, in my. they're not in your world. Yeah, they're not in my world. I don't have to entertain you them or talk to them. You can pretend that they're not real. But, dude, I clammed up so hard at, at Banana Fun. I didn't say, like, any, well, it was a weird night where none of the mics were working, really, so I didn't really even have, like, my own mic. Somebody yeah. else, Scott was, Fillmore was using my mic. I was just kind of st sitting there, but then I would be like, Am I just sitting up here not saying anything? Like I was so deep in my own head. Did one you know I, I did mean? mushrooms? Like, am I fucking lame right now. I did mushrooms one time performing, and it was at Buzzmo. I just like <laughs> had taken mushrooms and then forgotten I had a spot at Buzzmo on this like storytelling show. And I was just like microdosing, but I was just like I was in a great mood. I just remember I showed up, and uh, and and I just remember like as soon as I was on stage, I was having so much fun. But there were these like three women just in the front. That were just like looking at me kind of weird. Just and I just ended up spending like six minutes just being like, what the fuck is y'all's problem, <laughs> dude? <laughs> Why are y'all looking at y'all's vibe is terrible. <laughs> just three just it could not have been sweeter looking women, too. Like, I mean, like the nicest looking was women. Was it funny? In the was the crowd laughing at all? Or was yeah, it, it was like, funny, but then like at the end, the girls were just like, "Why did you? Why?" And I was just, I just told them, I was like, "I'm on mushrooms right now." I'm, sorry. I'm on mushrooms, and yeah. I was scared of you. Yeah, I'm you guys sorry. Were I went into out. fight or flight, and I and I chose fight a hundred percent because chose flight violence. was not an option. I had to finish the set. <laughs> yeah, and so I chose to just be mean to you guys. I wasn't mean. I just kept telling them that I was like, "You guys are freaking me out." Yeah, I just don't like. I don't like the energy you guys have here. No. And, and Buzzmill's uh, kind of weird too, from what I heard. I never did the mic. I don't think they're doing the mic anymore. But I never did the mic there. But I've been there a lot, and I used to live over by it. And there's a lot of there's a lot of like Portland EP. I'm, we're from Portland, Oregon. Yeah. There's a lot of like, you know, tattooed girls with like blue mullets and like septum rings that like they don't want. They only want to hear one type of comedy. That's yeah. that's like safe. They want to hear like a safe comedy. So you, and it was just like, oh god. I That's the thing. I'm a pretty separate. safe comedian. I don't really like push the boundaries at You're all. You're very self-deprecating. Yeah, I just make fun of myself and silly, stupid things that I think of. Yeah, you know, but uh, you know, no disrespect to the blue mullet ladies. Well, I mean, sometimes the blue mullet ladies just don't like me. I'm just a very dude. Yeah. You know, that's why I moved. So they, they, they just, just didn't like me. People just didn't like me there. <laughs> a lot of, they just look at me and be like, he's too straight. He's yeah. too white. We, he has to go. What the hell's he's going a, on yeah, with this guy? Yeah, he's not one of us. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fucking, you know, ghoul. Like, yeah. He's not one of us. <laughs> 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 Fuck. Yeah, so you, you moved to Austin where there's just a little mix of it. There's a little bit no, of every, there's a little so bit of every city better. here. It's all perspective. Like, you'd have to have... You'd have to have lived where I've lived, brother, yeah. to know what I've seen. Sixth Street's interesting, though, because you have the, the roamers, dude, the zombies. Yeah. I've seen the wrong side of an oat milk latte too many <laughs> times, brother. <laughs> you ever walk outside on, like, uh, like on Sixth Street? Like, sometimes when I get off work at, like, 1 in the morning, yeah. you just, and it's been, like, raining, it'll be, like, foggy out. Dude, walking through those alleys, some, I swear to God, I think the zombie apocalypse is starting. It's like the, uh, it's, dude, you you just, the... You'll just see somebody at the end of the street just walk towards you, and they have that, like... <laughs> <laughs> kind of walk and you're like oh my god am i fighting the first one yeah. because this is gonna spread am i is this guy patient zero dude like, this is gonna spread if i have to fight the first one you, i can't yeah. i will not win what are you doing in the zombie apocalypse it happens while it, let, let's say well let, let's say let's say it happens right there you're off work at 1 a.m patient zero is walking to you on a foggy rainy night you can't. You you don't. You, you don't have. You're not equipped to kill yet. So you're not gonna f engage this zombie. You're no. gonna You're gonna run to your car. You're gonna try to get where? Where are you gonna Where are you gonna go? Probably my. I, you know my parents don't live far, so I feel like I'd have to link up with them. <laughs> Mom. Why, well, I, I, dude? I can't leave them by themselves. My dad's got bad knees. Boy he can't run. You does know he, does I mean? your dad? Does get he have in the guns? Car. No. Oh fuck. I know, dude. You're my parents. Fucked. My parents are libs, dude. No guns. Oh, your parents are libs. Yeah. Man. Yeah, dude. It's actually pretty chill. They're no, nice yeah. people. My parents are kind but of lives. they just don't have guns. Yeah. So it's like they're not prepared. I just mean dang it for the for the zombie apocalypse. Yeah. You know what I no, mean? No, it like, would uh it's not good parents to have live parents, not good parents to have I think for the zombie if apocalypse. That was the only, I think I would be curious, like at first, be like, is that the only one? 
Because yeah. if it's the only one, you know, like, then well, I, I would sure. feel like, okay, I need to kill that guy. It's for sure not the only one. That's not, you can't have that thought. You have to know that it's, that this is bigger than me and this guy right here. Like, I gotta, I gotta get to safety. It's also, though, it's like, that's the thing with 6th Street is that it's like, I wouldn't know. Because it's like, there's no oh, way I would coming just, at you from all angles, dude, dude, behind the food trucks. If any of them, like, walked out, like, I, I can't just assume they're a zombie. Right. You know, if I just immediately killed anybody that resembled a zombie, I'd be facing <laughs> murder true. charges. Yeah, you mean, for what thinking the zombie like. apocalypse is happening. I'm sorry, yeah. officer. I'm sorry. I, I know I killed five homeless guys. It was because <laughs> I swear that it was foggy. They, I thought the zombie apocalypse was happening. I thought the zombie apocalypse. Started. I had to defend myself. And I think honestly, there is a chance they'd be like, "That's fair." <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we get it. <laughs> you did. You did good work, son. Then it would clean up the streets. Yeah. <laughs> fucking let and I'd ask them to let me ride their horse. Yeah. Say let me ride the horse since I am a hero. I was thinking about this recently. You've heard that thing that they talk about it on podcasts and shit, but it's like that Texas has more tigers in captivity than like in the <clears throat> in the whole uh rest of the world combined. Yeah. Like right? then like, in the wild then Yeah, then in like then in all the wild. wild tigers combined, there's more tigers here yeah. in captivity. And I was like thinking about it, I was like, you know what that means? Is that in the in the apocalypse when the apocalypse goes down, we're gonna probably bring back Texas is gonna be the place to bring back like the Coliseum, like the oh, like yeah. the Roman Coliseum with the fight tigers. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, dude, how do you think like, you would do in a gladiator battle? Uh, like Roman Coliseum, you they train you. Do I get a sword? Is it made of wood? Is it made of? No, no, it's a sword, and it, you're not fighting tigers. You're fighting other people, other guys. <sighs> It's like, have you seen the movie Gladiator? I haven't in a long time. Okay, well, yeah. it's it's literally like that situation. Like, they give you right. armor, you get weapons. Some people have more badass armor because they've already won more fights. Oh, shit. This is your first fight. You're so it's like an in. RPG. You have to level yeah. up and get gear and stuff. Yeah, you're going up against experienced fighters. How do you think you would do? Because I, I don't know, would die. I think it would have to be a couple of those, like, situations where... <clears throat> Like, I don't know, it starts as, like, it's like a five five on five. Or, no, it's like a, you know, it's a free-for-all with, like, five different guys in there. And then, like, I make eye contact with, like, another guy who knows that, like, we're fucked. And, like, yeah. and like he it's like, dude, like, I got you if you got me. You know what I mean? And then, like, then you kind of, like, low-key team up against the other five. Yeah, but then you have to fight that guy at the end. <sighs> one Fuck. v. One, dude. That's the scariest fight. Especially because rather... there's rapport built now. Like, we were a team. Yeah. You know uh, what I mean? Dude, I think the best strategy, because imagine there's like eight guys in the arena all battling it out. You're in a eight circle. Eight on eight. Or eight, sorry, I keep saying that. Eight, eight guy free for all. Eight guy free for all. Okay. Dude, then it's like you just try to hang back, avoid one on ones, let right. people fight it out, and just try to injure, you know, the guys mm -hmm. that are winning. So that by the end, it's not. A, I just, dude, I can't imagine getting stabbed. Kill steals. You basically like like a video game. You got to steal their kills. You got to yeah. let you got to let people yeah, yeah. you let people get their do some get, camping, get their dude. HP down. Yeah, and dude, then you this, move in. Speaking of that, dude, the the state of Call of Duty right now. If you play Call of Duty, <laughs> is yeah. a fucking travesty. Can you, dude. So These I'm kids not, camp and hard scope like little bitches all day long, dude, and it pisses this me off. This is so really bad. affecting you. Well, when I was a kid, if you camped or hard scoped, all your friends would make fun of you until you stopped doing it. <laughs> Nowadays, these kids just they just get to run around. This is the problem with today's youth. <laughs> There's not enough bullying. There's not enough bullying, dude. Yeah. We need to bring. You know what I mean? It's it's like they made that documentary. Remember that document, that bully documentary? You ever watch that? Sad as fuck. I don't think I ever saw it. Everybody that. saw it, and and then they were like, "All right, we have to stop this," and you know. Now kids fucking suck. Yeah, I was thinking about because that of Call recently, Duty. too. That, <clears throat> because of, it all comes back to it Call It all comes Duty. back to COD, dude. Yeah, because people aren't calling each other, like, you know, fags in the, in the lobbies anymore. Like, you're not allowed to do that. You know what I mean? You're not allowed to, you know, call someone's dad gay in the lobby yeah, anymore. Dude. You know what I mean? You're not allowed you to tell. You're not really allowed to other. tell. I mean, even in, don't they have, like, the thing where if they heat, there's, like, an AI now where, like, they can tell if you're saying bad shit and they can, like, cut your mic off? Isn't that a thing? I don't know. I think it's. A thing. I, I don't have a mic. I always just mute the chat. I yeah. avoid the chat because I don't want to deal with those kids. It's always like it's always like black dudes bumping loud rap music. Yeah. In the in the in the COD lobbies, I don't know. I don't know what that's about. Like, just just turn the mic off. Yeah. Just don't. I don't want to hear your fucking music. Yeah. It's like. Yeah, it's like Houston trap music is going on, and it's like, <laughs> 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 and he only has his mic so he can just go. Oh hell no. 
Dude, it's you know what I mean? Like he'll get killed and be like, yeah. "Oh, that's fucking bullshit." You Man, know what I mean? Y'all suck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is bullshit. Y'all and suck. You hear, the, you hear the baby like screaming. Like, <laughs> 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 Shut that baby up. <laughs> Dude, I I have to leave the mic muted because the other thing is too is that I say like these kids are pissing me off. It's mostly just because they're so much better than me. Yeah. Like I hadn't played Call of Duty in like ten years, and I just like recently my roommate got it on our PlayStation, mm-hmm. so I was like, all right. We're jumping back into the lobbies, and like they just, dude, they just shit on me so hard. You gotta ease back in with Halo. My KD is. You have a PS5 or an Xbox? PS5. Oh, okay, I was, gonna yeah. say, I was, was never a big Halo guy. Never really played Halo. Yeah, but I, like, I kind of like it now because of what you're talking about. It moves a little slower. It's yeah. a little more manageable. You can kind of, you know, it's not as dude, it's I, not as uh, jittery or whatever. You I know? just like my one player games. Twitchy. Dude. I, yeah. well, I was me never too. good at online when I played COD as a kid. Yeah. I. uh... I just like playing the story mode. I like pretending I was at war. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Oh, dude, here's a question. I was asking my friends this last yeah. night. If World War Three started and all of your boys got drafted, but you didn't, what's your move? Do you join them or do you just hang back? I don't know, man. I might put on a dress and start making apple pies or some shit, like a, <laughs> like a housewife. I don't dude, know. Dude, you're not going to go die with your brothers <clears throat> on foreign soil? No, I think I would die with my bros. You I kind of have for, to, I would right? for sure die with the bros. But Isn't oh, it kind of fucked up to I send all your boys over to, like, Beijing, and then you're just at home playing fucking Call of Duty? Dude, that's Also, so, dude, the FOMO so, would be unreal. The FOMO would be unreal, <laughs> dude. dude. I'd be so pissed. I'd be like, they're literally all becoming better friends without me. This yeah, they're, sucks. they're becoming a band of brothers. They are, dude. They're, becoming, they're, they're, they're on the there. front lines. And I'm not there, dude. I'm yeah. fucking working at fucking Circle K. They're putting a folded... Uh, ace of spades in their fucking yeah. helmet, in their helmet strap. And it looks badass. And they look fucking so dope. And I'm at home at my mom's house <laughs> yeah. playing Call of Duty. Playing Call of Duty. With my finger in my ass. Yeah, fucking eating flaming Hot Cheetos. <laughs> They're stained with blood. I'm stained red with flaming Hot Cheetos. And then you'd see them, like, with your luck, it'd be like, you know, Purple Hearts uh, awarded to, you know, the 5th Platoon, and it's just all your boys. Yeah. And you're just like, wow, they're actually heroes. And they yeah. come back. What if they come back, what do they think of you when they come back? Oh, oh yeah. hey, John. Yeah, hey, how is fucking you're, chilling? You're like 400 pounds. <laughs> yeah. I was doing <laughs> absolutely nothing. Cheeto dust all over you. They're like, dude. You're like, you guys don't want to play a game of COD? <laughs> no, dude, you have to, you have to I'm, go. I'm really good now. I've been hard at work while you guys have been away. You you have to go to war with your boys. Dude. You have to go you to war can't, with your boys. You can't. I was I was curious about this. How other dudes felt about this? Because I was really thinking. This about is it. good, I was like, dude. Yeah, you got. Yeah, I'd have no you choice. That in. Yeah. Like I don't know what. You know what I mean? Like sitting at home, would, dude. Also, it's like literally all your friends are gone. What the fuck are you gonna do at home? Yeah. I guess survive. And you'd be hanging out with only the women and children. Yeah. God, you'd feel so gay, dude. Oh, dude, I know. <laughs> you could. You couldn't do it, dude. Jeez. And just thinking about, like, uh, just, like, the boys in fucking boot camp and training. Yeah. Just the hangs. The hang would the be... The hang would the, be it, crazy. And, like, suffering together. Yes, you know, like, dude, bonding that's, that's through suffering. Thing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's, like, shared trauma, you know what yeah. I mean? And you'd miss out on oh, all yeah. that. Dude, the FOMO on shared trauma is crazy. The trauma bonding. <laughs> yeah, the FOMO yeah, on the trauma the bonding. The FOMO on well. trauma bonding is crazy, dude, because you would, you, would, you would feel it. You'd be like, fuck, dude. And they'd get back, and, like, Steve and Jeff would be, like, super close, and they'd be, like, doing all these little things, like, you know. Yeah. You remember that time, like, when things got bad out there. Yeah, and you you'd be they sitting mean? there with your Lone Star, like, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to see the steak I made yeah. the other day? <laughs> Look at this. That's medium rare. You guys, fifth prestige. <laughs> <laughs> Think fifth, about it. Fifth prestige. What were you doing <laughs> out there in the barracks? Oh, playing IRL? Fucking yeah. gay. Yeah, dorks. <laughs> What are you guys LARPing over there? <laughs> yeah. Jeez Louise. Come on, dude. Let's get hop online. Dude. Or uh, another side of that coin is like you guys. So you, you, let's say you do go with all your boys, right? Yeah. And they all get like put into like infantry. Like one guy's like driving a tank, another guy's like flying helicopters, one guy's like a sniper. And then you get stuck with like a fucking desk jockey. Dude, yeah. Job or like like a like a telecommunications job where you're just like intercepting chatter in yeah, an dude. office with a bunch of like with a bunch of black room glasses dorks. That would suck, you know dude. what I mean? And your dude, boys- I heard about uh, literally some somebody was telling me that like their like uncle or something got sent to war uh, 
just to sew patches on the uniforms. It got like deployed. <laughs> <laughs> and I, they, like my friends, my friends, because my friends last night had a completely different answer. Like they were like, "No, I'm, just, I'm counting my lucky stars and I'm staying home and surviving." And I was like, "You <laughs> fucking pussies!" Yeah. It's funny I talk a lot of shit because yeah. it's like I would be panicked. Yeah, I would be so upset. I'd be like, "Oh fuck!" But it's kind of like the idea of like going to jail sucks, right? Yeah. But like if you and your boy get in trouble and you. you're in the same, You can't just let him go by himself. Well, no, know? but it's kind of like if you're going to jail and there's no getting out of it. Like going, if you were going with your homie, you'd be like, "Fuck, this sucks." But you know, yeah, at least it, the boys. At least John's here, here, dude. Exactly. We're gonna riff so hard in that cell. We're gonna have fun, fucking paratrooping instead of a ra- <laughs> instead of a, instead of like writing a, you know, writing a rap album in in prison. We'd be writing like dick jokes. Yeah, dude. We're just going back and forth. Our material is just so solid. Starting an open mic in the town we <laughs> yeah, just fucking dude, conquered. Yeah, 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 dude. Going up, <laughs> slaying in front of black crowds. Just riffing <laughs> Wuhan, dude. Riffing in Wuhan, dude. Yeah, riffing in Wuhan. Oh, like, fucking COVID, huh? Fucking yeah. Piece of shit. <laughs> oh, now we're prisoners of war camps, dude. Yeah, It's dude. a prisoner of war oh, situation. Dude. So you're prisoner of war, and you have the opportunity to get out by yourself or try to go save the boys, but your chances of getting out are way lower. Dude, like, I what, think... are you, what are you doing? Are you going back for the boys? Dude, you're, you're, this is a nail biter. I think this is a real nail biter. I know, dude. I'm really thinking right now. I think that what it depends is that it's like if I what's more important is like like if I can get out, can I go then be like, yo, they're like doing some like crimes as against soon, humanity type shit. As soon as they find out that you're gone, it's torture and death for your boys trying to figure out where to go. You know what I mean? Trying to it's it's punishment. They're gonna be oh, punished. Dude, then I can't do that. Yeah. No, you can't, dude. But you're I'm saying You can't do that to the boys. <clears throat> That's you, fucked. Yeah. You gotta stealth you have to stealth, sneak around guards, take takedowns. Dude, I would R three to take down stealth. I would I would go for the boys and it wouldn't even be out of like a valiant hero thing. It would be more out of the anxiety of them being mad at me. Because as soon as I got dude, away by myself, I'd be like, "Fuck, dude, the boys would be so mad." The boys would be so mad. Be so mad. You'd if be they get the... out of there, they're not gonna hang out with me ever again. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly why I would. I would like yeah. be like, "Dude, yeah. if I don't do this, they'll be so pissed at me." Yeah, that's the only thing that would keep me alive. And their girls would be so bummed. They'd be so dude, mad. I know. The you boys would back. be so upset if they woke up for like fucking their prison meal and they were like, "Hey, John, you all right?" John I'm gone. Hey, and John. And they and, they and then just... they hear like a bunch of like you know Chinese screaming. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I don't know how to, I can't fuck. do a good Chinese screaming impression. Like just chi- a guy, with- Chinese guards, like ex- yeah. exclaiming to each other that things are gone, that or that somebody's escaped. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. it's like it'd be it'd be nasty Hot-tot! business. <laughs> you know, just a muffled. Hot-tot! <laughs> I don't know. That's not even that. Is that sounds like a Star Wars character? Yeah, it does sound more like Star Wars. The Ewok. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I I the boys would be so it's that moment they'd be like, no fucking way. Never dude, yeah. talking to it, John again. You got to think I about like, it, your don't perspective. Get out of here. Like, if you're, if imagine like one of your boys gets out and just like leaves, you'd be like, yo, like what the fuck. <sighs> Although I think I'd be like, good for them. I guess we're gonna die now, though. Yeah, we were probably all gonna die anyway. You know. Yeah, at least he got out. God, thinking about war is hell. <laughs> not actually. I've never. I think it's it. just funny that it's like the we're way past the age of getting drafted. No, we're not. What? What's there's the draft no, age? There's no, uh, there's no upper limit. Yeah, there is. I mean, there I think is there's a, an age limit. No, I googled it. I what? remember because I had like a panic attack that I thought World War Three was going to start, and I was like, "Fuck!" I thought it was like war. twenty, eighteen to twenty-five or some shit. No. I thought there was an age range. No, there's not. The uh, oldest person they've ever drafted was sixty-five. Oh my god! But they don't send you to war at sixty-five. Right. You're like an intel guy, sewing patches on shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing, dude. I don't think the draft would work if they tried to do it nowadays because everyone. Is a piece of shit. Yeah. Like, no one's in good shape. Everyone's fucked up all the time. Like, yeah. they can't whip us into shape. And it would take years, dude. Everyone's a, you know, a, everyone's a total pussy nowadays, yeah. too. Well, yeah, you'd be a lot of the... Well, what I was going to say, I guess, if not all of the people you're going to get drafted, but, like, the, the, the majority of the people you're going to get drafted are these, like, you know, people with green hair that, you know, are, like, communist, anti... Anti fucking, you yeah. know, America people, and then they're gonna get drafted, and like they're all worried about gender politics, and then it's like, oh, we're gonna stick you in Wuhan <laughs> with a with yeah. a with an AK forty seven. Do you think right after boot camp, their minds would be cleared of all that, like all the gender politics nonsense? Do I think they'd be more worried about dying? Yeah, 
You th- but that's what I'm saying. You I'd be more fear- worried about getting my next government you issued they'd be, vape. They'd be badass. <laughs> government <laughs> issued vape. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just being like, yo, d- dude, this shit. These are weak. You yeah. know. You know. You, you know the government. It'd be like puff bars. It'd be like really <laughs> puff bars. Those haven't been popular in three years. No, dude, They're it'd be worse. Puff bars. It'd be views cartridges. Oh, dude, I'd be so <laughs> pissed, dude. I would desert. I'd desert, dude. I would desert. Fucking give me something, you know, yeah. good. It'd be all like the knockoff Escobars that like yeah. taste like fucking shit. All uh, the time. This just in: um, uh, military, f- whole military on strike in Wuhan. Um, <laughs> not enough geek not, bars. Not to enough go around. geek bars. Yeah, the vapes are mid. You tell the general <laughs> until I can go into pulse mode. I'm not fighting another battle. <laughs> 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 Dude, that is crazy to think about. Like, uh, like take a Vietnam War movie, like when they're in yeah. the trenches smoking they have cigarettes the, they have, and shit. Yeah, but yeah. It, it's like, what? and they were dropping like pallets of Lucky Strike out of the helicopters. Yeah. you know, so they're just dro- they're dropping like big like rations of fucking. Dude, elf just imagine, bars. imagine like you're about to jump into battle and you hit it and it just flashes and you're like, yo, it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I have to jump into battle. I can't even hit my fucking nicotine. Yeah. This sucks. I just picture dudes like wounded after a successful win after a battle, you know, and they're yeah. but they're but they're like the medics are coming around and stuff, and they're just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, instead of morphing, they're just like, yeah. here, hit this, yeah, oh, thank God. Or like a well, guy gets his arm blown off, and he's like, give me a smoke, <laughs> yeah. you know, and he just comes over to him with the health bar. Tell Laura I love her. So that scene, you know that scene from Saving Private Ryan when the guy like walks around on the beach and then picks up his arm and walks yeah. off. Just picks up his arm and his vape's still in his hand. (laughs) (laughs) Hits it. (laughs) Takes the vape out, throws the arm, and walks away. (laughs) I got what I needed. Yeah, I don't need this arm no more. Just needed yeah, my war, sour apple ice. War would look so different. I feel like that's why it look crazy. Everybody's like, uh, you know, oh, like America. We're watching the fall of America, and it's like, I don't know. I feel like we're racing to this like AI thing, so we can get like Terminators. And if we get Terminators first, if we get Terminator robots Dude, first, if we send Terminator no robots, where robots don't kill us. All? I'm so anti robots. You don't think it's you crazy. could be on robot team, team robot? No, dude. I'm so anti robots. Yeah. Dude, how many movies have we made? We've, all, about, we've seen this before so many times. About robots uprising, getting too smart, and then rising against us. Yeah. That's exactly what's going to fucking happen. 100%. That's what I think. Dude, did she, uh, everyone's I'm all so worried. anti-robot. Everyone's all worried right now about the wrong things. They're like, it's going to take our art away. Like, the artists are like, it's going to change art. And yeah, it's, like, it's going to yeah, change the world. They're going to put you in a cage. They're going to kill <laughs> all of us. Yeah. And they're gonna, we're, we're creating our successors on this planet. Do you think what about what about uh do you think there'll ever be a possibility of of uh hybrid robot humans that are do you think they can breed? Dude, I don't Just know. In, isn't that isn't that the plot? Our of, women with robot semen, they can give birth to little Is that the plot? That's the humanoids? plot of Blade Runner 2049, right? Isn't I don't that, know. That, like there's a baby was born. I've never or seen that. They're like replicants, like they're like androids. Yeah, but didn't one of them have, like, a natural birth or some shit? And they're like, yo, we got to find this one and fucking kill it. <laughs> I can't remember. I think so. Yeah, yeah I'm it's not... a good movie, not, dude. Ryan I'm, Gosling. I'll Ooh. have to watch that. I What's fucking, it called? Blade Runner? Blade Runner 2049. Yeah, you got to watch the first... You got to watch Blade Runner, then you got to watch Blade Runner 2049. Blade Runner 2049 is a sequel. All right. I'm gonna watch those. Yeah, dude. I've I been on this old movie them. thing. Yeah, I haven't seen. All, I'm like that dude, guy that hasn't good, seen anything. Bro. I haven't seen anything. Good. Cinematography in them is really good. Really, really good. Yeah, it's fucking fantastic. Yeah. And in 2049, they have a gigantic pink Ana de Armas, and she's hot. A what? Ana de Armas. What's you know, that? Do you know who she is? She's no. an actress. No, look her up, too. Okay. She is beautiful. And, and they made her a giant? They, and She's like a giant virtual lady, and she's pink, and she's super... Just like an Amazon woman, like a snoo-snoo? No, giant? Like gigantic. Closer. What? You haven't seen this picture of this chick before? Or the no. From it? Here, clo- uh, click a new tab and close those tabs. Yeah. Um, no, I haven't seen that movie. I haven't seen a lot of movies, dude. I've been going back and watching, uh, watching old movies that I haven't seen. Like, I just recently watched... Uh, what's the surfing one? Point Break? With Keanu Reeves, dude, I haven't seen that one. That one rules. Blade Runner, okay. Like, see, there's the giant pink version of her. Oh, damn. Shit. Nice. Yeah, she's like gigantic. You can Hell see Ryan yeah. Gosling there in the bottom, in the tiny little corner. You think we're gonna be busting to holograms pretty soon? Yeah. 
the next logical step. Dude, I was asking our it's guest. Getting, it's getting dangerous, dude. <laughs> It's all getting too dangerous. <laughs> it's all getting the porn. Yeah, dude. It's getting too dangerous. <laughs> it's getting too dangerous. There's a, uh, you know, like, have you seen like these like sex dolls people buy now? They're like robots. They have like sex robots. I don't know. Pull up a 2024 <laughs> sex doll, T. I haven't really seen, dude, I haven't like, seen like the latest tech. I, you know, because originally it was just like blow up dolls and it was like haha funny. Well, but you then gotta, the sex dude, robots are getting crazy. It's the sex robots. Dude, uh, I wouldn't even buy a flashlight, dude. I don't need anything to make. Type in sex off. robots, not doll. I don't need anything to make jerking off better. Yeah. Uh, go to a shopping. Look, dude. Look at the that that guy. That mm -hmm. fucking, oh yeah, the guy with next to one. Yeah. That fucking freak with the robot. Here, zoom in on it. See, pull it over to the left a little bit. Zoom in. You don't have to like pull the browser. Just zoom in and scroll to the left, dude. Dude, what a just little do this freak with dude. the pad. This guy's such a freak. God damn it. He's just do his this. whole life. I am doing it. Oh. His whole life is just dedicated to building sex robots. Wow, what a dork. Matt McCullen, Mac McMullen <laughs> with the doll Harmony, which is a robotic head. Users can interact with the doll through an app. It's made by Realbotics, a company based in San Marcos, California. <laughs> dude, what a <laughs> freak, dude. You, you think you can fuck that thing, dude? No. Come on, go look, go back and look at it. Like, if you had a hard week at work, you're a single guy, and you come home drunk from the bar, you have a moment of weakness, you, dude, think, you think you could smash the robot? Dude, what is the setup like? You gotta, like, plug it in. <laughs> no, dude, all oh, I, The batteries are fucking dead. You're thinking about the wrong thing. The setup isn't the problem. It's the, it's the post, not clarity, dude. Oh. It's putting them back in the closet. <laughs> You're that's right. the dark shit. You're right. No, that's you're where right. you'd be like, what the fuck have I done with myself? Dude, how do you look a woman in the eyes? Exactly, after, after, after having laughing. done something like that. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like, fuck the shame the must be insane. Especially then it's like, what do you do with it when you meet a woman? Yeah. She can't come over and then she starts moving towards the closet. You're like, no, 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 wait. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, it's kind of cold. It's kind of cold. Uh, you, you know, meet a girl oh, that kind of looks a like her I'll grab too. A blanket. Oh, God. God, she sees that. She's like, why do you have. A like this kind of looks like me. Like, or it looks like her mom. It's even worse. Oh. <laughs> dude. No, dude. The sex robot shit is... Go to shopping. The the, the, <laughs> the click biggest shop, freaks. Click, click shopping. Dude. 20... Oh, <laughs> what no, is this? <laughs> is that a robot dog? Apparently this uh, dog is a sex robot. <laughs> you can fuck the robot dog. <laughs> Alright, this is not giving it to us. Well, where do you buy... Where do you get these things? I don't, people own them, right? Can you buy one right now? Are they all? I feel like they've been talking about them forever. Like they've been in prototype forever. Is there people fucking them right See, now? I think there are people fucking them right now. Yeah. I think you were right with the doll. Oh God! Wait a minute. Oh, that's not God. real. The is one it? That's bent over. That's is, not real. That's is just it? horrible. Yes. No, it's <laughs> not. That that looks real. That is horrifying. That looks like. Wait, click on it because I you, need to know. Is that what the actual doll is? Because that looks like a real woman. Click click on the link. Let's just for research purpose. Oh my god, you can choose the tits. You can Holy choose the pubic shit. hair. Shit. Wait, what? Choose. Oh, you can choose the skin color, eye color. You can choose your vagina. Wow. Dude, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, dude. Like, imagine All that. Right, we might get pulled for this off YouTube. Turn, take it off. Imagine. Go back. Ima go back. Go back. Dude, wait. That is so disturbing. Yeah. If you, if like you said, if or even if you're okay, let's go back to the boys. Okay, you go over to your boy's house, and you and you're like, uh, hey, dude, uh, let's go for a walk. It's raining. I'll grab you a jacket. <laughs> and you go into his closet, into the hall closet, and you grab a jacket. Go back. And that thing, th this thing's ass is just looking at you. <laughs> what do you how, what do you think of your boy, dude? What do you think of your home homie? What do you, what do you do with your homie when you find a him. sex doll? I would trust him less. Yeah. Like you're you're I would just immediately be like, "Oh, you're a fucking freak." You got to tell everybody. You're gross. Dude. You have to tell yeah, everybody. I would you immediately tell, let him know how gross it is. And I would let him know that like I'm telling everyone I know about this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take a picture of it. Yeah, exactly. And post it on my story. Look what I, like, find look look what I at, found in Dave's closet. Hey, guys, look at what a freak Taylor is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why does that have to be me? Dude, the sex doll thing, it's just gross and weird. Why it's would crazy. anybody need that? I don't know. Plus, dude, let's be real. Part of the, some of the, you know, 
Post sex cuddles are a good time. Yeah, you kind of need them. You, you can't just fucking then. You know what I mean? So you're so what you're leading up. What you're saying is that you're cuddling you're, with you're, that thing. No, dude. No, that's, but that's these why guys you can't. Are. These guys. But that's are. why you can't. That's why. That's why it's so. It, it's even weirder. It gets, it's like it's just not yeah. a person. It's weird to have something that looks like a person that isn't a person. Yeah. In any way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even, even trust statues. Like, like <laughs> yeah, I don't trust statues. I don't fuck with statues, bro. You never know when Night at the Museum is going to start happening. Yeah, when they're going to come to life. Yeah, and, and they're made to, of metal. And you're going to have to battle them with this solid with ben copper. Stiller. Yeah, have, and an and a, and a old uh, safari guy. Yeah, <laughs> you have to battle your way through the museum. Yeah, dude. I think you're totally right, though. It's always been creepy. Like, uh, like <laughs> what's a, so what's a, creepy? What's a classic <laughs> creepy movie thing? Uh, dude with mannequins in his house. Yeah, right. That's the precursor. That's dude, that was the that was precursor. the Jeffrey Dahmer shit. You see that Jeffrey Dahmer show? Oh yeah, he literally he stole a mannequin. Some, yeah, to, before like, he hold on before it, he yeah. got ballsy and started killing the guys. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it's a it's it's for super freaks. I don't Jeff, like it at all. Jeff was wild. Dude, that shit was <laughs> yeah, dude. That guy he did some bad things. But dude, it's, it's like, crazy how the fuck boy evolved into looking like Jeffrey Dahmer. You know, like a lot of people are doing the like the thin fake glasses from yeah. uh the th- what are you looking up? There was something I saw about some guy who had like a life size anime doll. Oh, that he married? Yeah. Oh god. The, the hologram character? Yeah. Oh god, dude. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> it makes me sad when I watch stuff like this. <laughs> dude, it's like that's the saddest thing in the world. His family and shit is there. That's the saddest thing in the world, bro. He's He's giving speeches to it. He read vows to a doll. Did you see the guy? <laughs> I declare here that we are married. You know what's crazy is everybody in that family just had to show up and be like, dude, he's he's fucking this doll. The lengths that people will go to <clears throat> not have to have a wife. <laughs> a real wife. Dude, it's crazy. I'm going to marry an anime doll so I don't have to deal with the bullshit. <laughs> dude, it's just, it's just, it's so sad, bro. Like, look at this. This is his Welcome wife. home, darling. Are you tired? Ooh, see the balls. That's crazy. Give us a little bit of audio to you, just a tiny bit. Should be working. You, uh, the Bluetooth slider. Just let it, let it run. This guy, dude. Alright, actually turn it down and I'll read it. If it's anything worth reading. This is wild. <laughs> Dude, he put it on the little arm. Yeah, put it right on Did you arm. see he put it on the little arm? He's got so... Why is he so obsessed? The Tokyo residents said what? Well, dude, you know in Japan they have, uh, they have like, way more men than women. Oh, well, that's true. Their male population is a lot higher than the female mm-hmm. population. Is that all the Asian uh, countries or no, just Japan? No, it's just Japan. And, and no, China, that, though, and right? And China, well, because yeah. China was killing them. Right. They were killing the babies. Yeah. Pretty fucked up. Pretty fucked up. Because the government only allowed one baby, and mm-hmm. they needed men to, like, you know, keep the... They were like, alive, fucking yeah. no girls allowed, dude. Boys rule. <laughs> yeah, dude, pretty fucked up, putting needles in their head and stuff, throwing them in a river. Jesus Not cool. Christ. But, uh, yeah, they have more... Uh, <laughs> there's more men than women in Japan, and so these fucking guys, like, some of them just genuinely don't have an option. Like, they're just... You know what I mean? It's just like they're, like... There's just no women to meet. And they're like, well, if I can't get married to a regular woman, then we're going to have fun with this. Yeah. And I'm going to marry Sailor Moon. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, that's the thing, too, is that these sad guys, then they have, like, these fucking white dorks from America that can't get laid here going over there and looking for, you know, their Japanese anime wife. Yeah. And they're now they are now they got, you know, yeah, more competition coming in for no reason. Yeah. Where it's just here, it's different. There's more women than men in America. I'm pretty sure, right? Is that I don't true? know. Let's look that Can up. Can we too. look that up? Uh, I I'm worried about anime guys just as a populace. Like, uh, not not anime guys. Excuse me, anime porn guys, hentai guys. Yeah. I'm worried about. I'm worried about those guys. Like, I hope they're okay. Yeah, dude. I hope they're doing all right. Just because it's I, cartoons all the time. I feel like that's like a slippery slope to like a lot of things, like depression. 
You know, I feel for some reason I feel like you. Oh. Ju- I, what as of July first, twenty twenty two, there were one hundred and sixty five point two eight million males and one hundred and sixty eight million females. So you were right. Yeah, there's more women than men. <laughs> nice. What is it in Japan? Sick. <laughs> uh. But yeah, I just don't feel like the hentai guy. I just I'm scared of those. I'm scared for them. They they all it's like a such a mixture of bad energies. Ninety five men. For, oh. Ninety five. I'm wrong. There's sixty one million males. There's yeah, I more think it's just China. I think okay. it's just China. Let's do China now, T. Shout out to Matthias for China. fucking looking up China. China. <clears throat> Seven hundred and twenty million males <sighs> and six hundred and ninety-eight million females. Eighty-nine or six hundred and eighty-nine million Dude, females. So that's thirty-one million more guys than women. That's quick math, buddy. I was not. I'm not able to do that kind of math. That's fucking crazy. You got some good math skills on you, dude. Yeah, I'm kind of wicked smart, dude. No yeah. one knows. <laughs> wicked smart. Uh, wicked smart. <clears throat> do you like apples? <laughs> <laughs> They need. They need well, to. I did basic math. How do you like dim apples? <laughs> <laughs> they need to. They need to get. They need to get people fucking more in China. Like, what's going on with that? They can't. Dude. How, is they there have any like, way to fix this? Dude, look. How do look you at fix those this? numbers together. <laughs> fucking. That's like. It's like one point six or seven <laughs> billion people live in China right now. They can't. They can't have any more. Can't they just bring some over from North Korea? Like they're cool with North Korea, can't they just be like, "Yo, send no, us some I ladies"? Think, I don't think don't anyone's think North cool with North Korea. Korea. Population <laughs> anywhere near, remotely close to what China. What is North Korea's population? I think North now that Korea, we're if, now that we're looking it up, go. I think North Korea is not cool with anybody, dude. I think North Korea and China are supposed to be like boys. North Korea is Florida, like no, that. North Korea and China and Russia are like homies. That's the only reason I f- I thought that that was the only reason we don't go over there and fucking throw our dicks around. No, they're not homies. It's just that like uh, what what rare like what rare uh, like metal or whatever is North Korea mining that we're secretly buying from them? Like why haven't we gone over there and just liberated those people? I I don't know shit about world politics dude, so because they'll nuke people. Because they'll threaten to nuke. They don't. They have Windows XP, dude. They don't have. No, they dude, can't. They, they got nukes. Really? Yeah. I'm not scared of them. I don't. Th- I don't think they're that scary. Dude. I think they just flex. They're just like, they're just flexors. They have yeah, like dude. those old school '80s phone. You've seen all their tech is like old and sucks. Yeah, dude. Their country is not good. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. Yeah. What's the population? Twenty six million. That's the thing, though, is that that's why they they have like they're not like homies, but they have like those like alliances, like treaties with like. Uh, China and Russia, because it's trade based, right? Well, I don't. I'm not entirely sure. I I'm really. I don't know anything yeah. at all. I've just been talking out of my ass. We this should get somebody thing. in here that fucking yeah. knows. This whole podcast has just made me being like, I'd go to war. Yeah. Like, not true. <laughs> if it was for all. the boys, I'd fucking go. If to war. If it was war. for the boys, I'd go to war. No. Wait, we should go back. We should go back. We should go back to some of that. We should go back to the gladiator thing because I feel like we. Oh yeah, we did. We did kind of. We left. We went away because you asked me how I would do. Yeah, well, how do you th- how do you think you would do? It? <clears throat> I don't think it would go well. I think uh, I think I would run in. I mean, as soon as, <laughs> Dude, as soon I'd as be I, out of breath running in. Yeah, <laughs> like because they start you off kind of in a circle. Yeah, and then you like run towards each other usually, right? Yeah, right. Dude, yeah, I'm out of breath on the on the way in. On the and way as in, soon yeah. as I get like even barely bumped <clears throat> bumped with any object, like a sword or a stick or something, <laughs> I'm like, this sucks. I'm out. Dude, stabbing, just getting mentally... stabbed just sounds like the worst thing ever. Oh, for sure. I couldn't handle that. No. That's what would be the scariest thing to me is I would just be like, fuck, I, is there any other way to die in here? Because I wouldn't think I was going to make it out. I just would want to die more comfortably than getting stabbed in the gut. Just get shot instead. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Shot with an arrow sucks, no, though. Gun. Yeah, but we're talking about, like, you're not going to... Dude, the Hunger Games, though? How do you think you do in the Hunger Games? Giant arena, cornucopia full of... See, I've never watched Surprise. the Hunger Games. Somebody was just describing it to me. <clears throat> 24. 24. This is also, this is while you're like 16 because it's, okay. it's kids. It's like 11 to 18. Okay. So you're 16. There's 23 other kids. You start out. There's a big thing in the middle. All right. This is actually great that you don't know because yeah. I can run you through this whole scenario. Yeah. Uh, and we'll figure out how you would do because I 
know too much about the Hunger Games. Okay. I went on a kick last year. Okay. But uh, I got to watch it. So there's, uh, so yeah, 24 in a circle. There's a giant thing in the middle with a bunch of weapons and supplies. Uh, everyone's going to go for it. C- count The clock counts down from 10. You hear it, the gong go. The games have started. First move, what do you do? Is it in a forest? Where is it? It's a foresty arena, yeah. And you got to remember that if, if people like you in the outside world, they can send you gifts and stuff if you need it. Huh. But w- what's your first move? And you have to kill. If you run into another person, you got to kill them. You will ideally, yeah. Because <clears> they might. They you, might. They're going to kill you. You want to win. You mm. can form alliances, but that's more done pre games. I think I'm going to camp in short scope. Camp in short scope. There's no <laughs> guns. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's all. Uh, I don't know, dude. I think. I, I think. You I think. Bill. Coward. I think. Bill, I think <laughs> <laughs> took me a second for it to click, and then I was like, "You, bitch. you fucking bitch! Yeah. <laughs> you unbelievable, dude! Just like how you play Call of Duty, yeah. right? I'm yeah. gonna. I'm gonna go prone. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna drop shot prone yes. in the grass. I'm gonna drop shot people prone in the grass <laughs> in a ghillie suit. <laughs> no, I think uh, I think crafting would be huge. So I'd start collecting a supply. That's what I always do in like a video Where game. Where do you go for the supplies, though, uh, dude? Because this is just a forest, and all the all the weapons and stuff are in the middle. Other than that, you're just in the woods. So when yeah, it comes but to it weapons, would be like it would stuff. be like Fortnite, <clears throat> or it would be like a like a video like a like a Skyrim style game, where. <clears throat> what I do in those games, I would do in real life too, probably, where I would just be like scraping bark off of trees and like collecting useless shit until I couldn't walk <laughs> fast anymore. Yeah. And then somebody would come fucking kill me immediately. <laughs> you know what I mean? They'd kind of be like, whoa, I might need this later. And I just, just kind of let you fuck around because yeah. they, they keep running into you, but they're like, he doesn't even seem like he knows what he's doing. Like, yeah. He's just let him got have a bunch fun. of fucking. He's definitely not a threat in <laughs> any way. He's got a bunch of iron ingots so in his you, pocket. So you run away. <laughs> you run away from all the supplies right away you just run into the forest yeah i start foraging for yeah. useless shit you and i'm forage. like we can you we can use this you know to build a shelter and then like you know probably never do it you probably make it like two days stacks up my inventory they generally they last like 10 days you probably make it like two days yeah yeah you, and would, then, you would die and then when somebody ran out up to me i would quick save and then <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> what are you doing exit lobby what are you what's your first what's your first move yeah, I think I would totally puss out. Dude, probably I run it, and I would probably go into camping, short scoping mode. I think alliances would be big, dude. I would try to align okay. myself with people pre games when we're all. You'd be it. good at that. I think yeah. You'd be like a like, homie. You'd be a total homie. I'd be a homie to everybody and be like, yeah, like we got to be homies. Like let's kick it, and then stronger together, right, bro? Yeah. And then I would I would align with I would align with the the strongest ones, and then I would just be like, all right, because then I know like. Then I would go and, you know, we would take over the middle, get all the supplies. Okay. And then uh, go and, like, hunt people. And once they we're down to, like, two left besides our pack, I would just be like, I got watch, guys. Go to sleep. Just fucking <laughs> oh, nice. Lit all their throats. So gain their trust and, then, I, and yeah. then betray. Well, yeah, it's the only way to win. For the W. There's only one winner. Damn, I need to watch the show. Dude, it's a good movie. Yeah, yeah it's a rip off of Battle Royale. How do you think you would have done? How do you think you would have done in the Squid Games? Dude. How far do you think you would have made it? I uh, I feel like I'd be fucked on the first game with the laser eyes girl with the with the bullet eyes girl I or whatever even, with like the what was that stop red light green light? Yeah, I wouldn't have even made it to the Squid Games if some dude was just talking to me and was like, "Hey, do you need like a bunch of money?" I'd be like, <laughs> "What's the fucking catch, dude? Get the fuck out of my face! You're just gonna give me money? Yeah, right. I'm out. <laughs> I'm not going. I just want to go. Just like no." I avoid strangers <clears throat> like the plague. My least favorite thing in the world is strangers. Yeah. I hate meeting people that I don't know. Whenever I go anywhere and there's more people that I don't know than people that I know, I hate it. Dude, but what about what happens when you blow up and you start touring and meeting in your fans? John! Well, I can, you know, I'm chill. Like, I can be chill. It's just the, like, like long conversations. It's yeah. Just like, come on. You know what I mean? You have, a like, story, you have any stories off the top of your head of like the worst time you met a stranger? Recent memory? No. Or the most uncomfortable you felt? <clears throat> no, sometimes people are just like, you know, you just, sometimes you just, it's it's always, it's never like, because it's like, if I'm, if I do a show and people want to talk to me afterwards, like, that's, you know, that's mm-hmm. cool. That's like, you know, I'm chill it's with expected. that. expected. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't mind if people want to talk to me. But if somebody starts But if I'm like just at a bar. Oh, yeah. Like with my friends, there's, you know, obviously they don't know who the fuck, like that I do comedy yeah. or anything. And so if they they're not talking to me about that or in any way. They're, if they just like start talking, chatting to me, you up, 
but don't it's like the kind of thing up. you know what i mean the problem the thing is that it's like i don't mind it in the short conversations if i'm just like if but if i'm clearly giving the signs <clears throat> of being like yeah yeah there yeah, is a cadence yeah, to like yeah. like, you know, yeah, like i'm trying to get out of yeah. this conversation and you're not letting me that infuriates me that is so obnoxious because it's like i'm trying so hard to be polite yeah but i don't want to hear about whatever you're saying yeah yeah that happens to me sometimes that like Shows and stuff, or just anywhere, you're like at a bar, or something. Somebody's yeah. like, I just like somebody's. Pun- we call it punishing. That's that's what a punisher is. Somebody that sits even... there, and you're like, they're like, yeah. So like, you know, I love everything you do. You're like, all right, dude. Like, thanks. Yeah. You know. And then they're like, so like, what do you? And you're just like, oh, dude, he's not getting it, dude. I. He's not getting. Generally, it. like, I don't know. It's more of a. It's a fear based response for me because I just yeah. don't understand. I like understanding everything that's around me. Yeah, and you don't want to be rude. You're scared I'm of just being like, an asshole. I don't know who you are. And also, it's crazy because sometimes you meet people at bars and you'll just be talking to them. And you'll be like, oh, this guy's chill. And then they'll just like say something where you're like, yeah. What the fuck, dude? It is kind of weird because sometimes, <clears throat> like you said, well, and then sometimes, have you? do you ever feel like you're on the other end of it? Like you feel like you're having a cool conversation with somebody and then they start giving you the, all right, dude. Have a good one. And oh, you're yeah. like, oh. Dude, that's oh, the worst. Oh, shit, I thought. That's the worst feeling. I thought, so am I autistic? Damn. I thought we were hanging. I yeah. thought this was cool, but you're giving, because I'm very self-aware. So I, when somebody's yeah, no, giving, somebody way. giving me the, get, the, 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 I'm trying to get rid of you, bro. Yeah. I'm like, I don't, I don't try to ever be in that position. Yeah. So I don't just go up and talk to people. But if sometimes, sometimes it'll, sometimes it'll trick you because you think you're talking to somebody or everything's cool and they give you the, all right, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, oh, nice, dude. And you're yeah. like, oh shit. Oh no. Yeah, he just niced me. I gotta He's walking away. Don't you hate that when somebody somebody nice? What's the other one? Like that's crazy. Damn, I'm, I'm so bad about that's crazy. I, I do the same. I'm shit, so yeah. bad about doing that's crazy to people. And then I'll notice it, and I'll be stoned if I'm stoned, and I that's crazy somebody like twice, and I'm like, damn it, I'm being the that's crazy guy. Yeah. Fuck, dude, that's crazy. I'm like. Fuck. Such an asshole, dude. I do it a lot. I just zone out. Like I'm very ADD, so like I'll zone out while talking to somebody, and I like won't even realize. Like people would just be like, you know, and then I did this, right? And I, I just like won't even be listening. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, I do that, like that a lot, where yeah. you just you're just saying yeah to like affirm to them like I'm hearing what you're saying, but I'm not hearing any of it. Oh, it's so bad. And then I realize that, and then I feel terrible because I'm like I don't. I, I didn't mean to not listen. I just, my brain just went somewhere else. Yeah, it's like, oh, fuck, what were you just talking, what were you yeah, even dude. saying? <laughs> dude, I get shit on on that. Yeah, I do it sometimes, like, with my homies in the car where I'll be, like, somebody will text me or I'll be, you know, doing something important on my phone. And then, and I, they're talking at me, and I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then I'm like, I've lately I've been trying to just be honest with it and go, yeah. I'm sorry, dude, can you repeat literally everything yeah. you just said? Because I'm, I care about it. I just want to let people Dude. know that I care about what you're saying. Yeah, I want to hear. I don't it. want people. I didn't mean for this to happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I am a piece of shit for it. It's, I want to hear what you have to say. It's just, it's just the way that I'm broken. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's just exactly. Yeah, it's just. The, it's, it's I just, just don't the work. way my brain is. Sometimes broken. I just don't work. Yeah. You know, that's just me. Yeah, dude. I don't know. The strangest thing is interesting. I just. It's weird because I'm a very social person and I do love people. Yeah. But then, the, like, there's just certain times where it's just like, like, there's just nights where, like, you know, somebody will be like, hey, do you want to come out? Like, I'm going to this bar and meeting up with a bunch of my friends. And I, like, the whole reason I was saying is, like, I don't want to meet people. Yeah. Because I know, I just feel like I, like, at this age, especially, you, like, I just know the motions of meeting somebody. You know what I mean? Yeah, and in comedy too. It seems yeah, like it's kind and of sometimes weird. you're just like, oh, I don't have like, I, I, I like to be like a question asker and stuff. You know, like when I meet someone, like get to know them and stuff. And so sometimes you're just like, dude, I just, I can't be that guy. I just, I know I don't have it in me to listen well today. And, and plus, that like, sucks, it but doesn't I'm help just when you're avoid the scenario. Yeah, it doesn't help when you're like at a fucking loud ass bar that's where everybody wants to meet nowadays hey or like a really quiet place where you can't talk yeah hey dude want to hang out at the comedy show (sighs) like i was trying to catch up with a homie i hadn't seen and we went to vulcan and i was like and i just because i didn't think about it you know and like we went to vulcan and i was kind of like i was like yeah dude like shut up like we'll talk later (laughs) like i know i haven't seen you in like two years but shh (laughs) 
Dude, that's the worst. <laughs> it's like the worst place to that's like, the worst. meet with a homie you haven't seen in a while as a comedy show. You're like, dude, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's so good to see you. Shh. Well, it's like kind of like going on a first date with a girl and you take her to the movies. Like, what are you yeah. just going to sit next to each other and not talk the whole time? Yeah, exactly. It's like, like, a stupid idea. Yeah, that's the worst is when you do take somebody to like a show. And you're like the entire time you literally just have to be like, please stop talking. Yeah, like, you're gonna get us in trouble, and everybody knows me here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is yeah, like exactly. a nightmare for me. Yeah, it's like everyone, because all I can think about is that it's like if I take somebody to the show and oh, they're talking, is the next yeah. day when I come in and everyone's like, hey John, thanks for bringing your fucking friend here. Yeah. Hey John, <laughs> hey John, how's it going? What the and, fuck uh, was that? I'm sorry. <laughs> I told them to stop. They just don't. But I can't blame them because I'm also like. I'm a talker. You're, ch- we, you're, ch- what's funny. you're chatty Cathy's. Well, we all talk. Like, everybody talks. You, you'll just hear, it, like, door guys is security in the back of the room. And then mm-hmm. as soon as somebody in the <clears> audience <throat> talks, it's like... Sometimes you can hear the green room. Down. But it's because we know how to be quiet. Yeah. Appropriately. Yeah. You know? Sometimes you can hear people, like, or I don't know if, I don't know if it's the green room or what, but you can hear some... In Little Boy, there's, like... Something in the back where oh, it, dude, it gets really loud. There's sometimes like this little vestibule that we hang and that yeah. like we all hang out in yeah. and, during work, and so like that back door opens and it's just all of us fucking around. Yeah, and I feel like you can hear the bar noises and stuff yeah. sometimes, but it's I mean it's mostly great. I guess if the comedian's killing, then you shouldn't <laughs> be able to hear it yeah. all the time, right? But yeah, know. that's the excuse we like to yeah. use because we're being assholes, right? Yeah, you like you uh you. How did you did you do the tryouts or did you get hired later after the tryouts? For no, so I, yeah, I was on the audition. Nice. Uh, I went to that. It was actually really? on my birthday. Really? Yeah, I went to that and watched all because I knew like a couple of the guys. I had just moved here. So Nick Spaglia and a couple yeah. of the other guys Love were my Nick. homies already. He's, he looks like he brought his baby home. Very excited. <laughs> oh, today he did. Yeah, he just wow. sent a picture. Oh, of fuck him yeah, at home with his his daughter. So yeah, it's very excited. Hell yeah. Thank God. Yes. Yeah. Cheers to Nick. Cheers to Nick. Hit the hit the orange button, T. Lift the little slider up. That was it. The red one all all the way to the right. Never mind. This is dead. You killed it. You want to hit this? How far are we along, T? Uh, one fifteen. Oh shit! Let's just wrap it up right there, dude. Yeah, dude. Dude, we did Cheers it. Cheers, Nicholas. Of that was so chill. That was I such know. a fun time hanging out with you, dude. I know, dude. That we got to do. Combo. We got to do it again, man. For real, dude. I'm yeah. down whenever. Yeah. I will take it. When you're back bit. on. When you're back on keto. Well, gotta work. You dude, know what I mean. Know. When you're. Uh, when you're not playing Call of Duty anymore, you know. Dude, I had to we'll give talk up. about. We'll the talk kids about. Torched me. You should keep pressing people on the uh, on the. The whether or not you'd go to war with your homies. That's a fun like. That's bar. a fun that's a, little that's question. A fun, right? I might. Ta- I might do that with dude, some friends. Not on the pod, but just. I might do that. Feel free to do it on the pod. Okay, man. maybe that's, I will. That's a good that's segment. A fun, that's uh, fun. That's a fun question to ask because you, it's also it's like it's fun for me because I like to just sit there and yeah. be like, "Oh, you pussy, you're yeah, not yeah. gonna go," and yeah. knowing fully well that I'm like, "There's no way." Yeah, <laughs> there's no way I'd go, dude. But the moral of this pod is, do you got to do what's have right for the back. boys? Yeah, yeah you got to do back. what's right for the boys. And have your boys sh- back and don't be a fucking sex freak with sex dolls. Yeah, don't don't fuck sex dolls. Don't let sex robots take over the world. No. Yeah, and have your boys back. Plug your shit, John. I just follow me on Instagram at John Heft, H O E F T. That's and same on TikTok. Go see him at the Comedy Mothership. Come check performing me out at these all the shows, goddamn yeah. time at the best comedy club in the world. Always at the Mothership. Hell yeah! So Thank you, buddy. Check me out. Thank Thanks you, Matthias. Thank you, dude. We'll see you next time. Podcast. You are listening to Gorgas. You idiot.